This is the engine that drives our late 70s model 500 gallon thrush ag plane and this year we had a little jump scare with it. First of all, a little bit about it. It's a Honeywell TPE 331-1 turboprop engine and you'll hear it commonly referred to in the ag industry as a Garrett. It was designed in the 1950s by Garrett AI Research but has been produced by Honeywell Aerospace since 1999. The configuration we have on this airplane makes 715 shaft horsepower. I know a few of you are going to come at me for some of these details but I'm getting all this information straight out of this Honeywell book that I'm holding in my hands. The TPE331 is a lightweight and single shaft turboprop engine that is touted as best in class fuel economy. Honestly, the fuel burn for us when compared to a 90s model Air Tractor 502 has been quite comparable, especially when taking into consideration the slightly slower speed and narrower swath width than the 502, but that's beside the point. The weight of this engine is 330 to 400 pounds and it always is surprising to me just how small it really is. The maintenance for us has been fairly straightforward for our first two seasons of running these engines, but there are requirements that you have to do at specific hour marks. One of those things is a soap or oil analysis, and that's due every 150 hours. There is an AD out from the FAA, so it is a legal requirement. Now, the crazy thing about this is that it's really not a big deal. You pull a filter, some oil, and then send it to Honeywell for analyzing. You purchase the kit and ship it off to the lab for results. This kit was $430 last year, and now it's $760. This is aviation pricing increases at its finest. That's almost a 77% increase in just one year. What was even scarier than that price increase this year is that we got a resample due after sending in a sample. What that means is that there were irregular findings in the sample sent and that they needed another sample in 25 hours. Of course, we went to worst case scenario and thought we were going to have to pull the engine and send it to the engine shop. We are nowhere near out of the woods because we could have this healthy little engine turn unhealthy at any moment, but when the resample came back as normal, there was a weight on our bodies that had instantly lifted. We really hope with the proper maintenance and care, we can continue to run these engines for a long time without issues. The thing is with this business, you can do everything right and something can still go wrong. So for now, we put money aside every year in case we have engine troubles, hope like hell for the best, and try not to worry too much.